first. A horrific incident a world away is inspiring a group of students here at home. It happened 12 years ago when the Taliban destroyed the Buddhas of Afghanistan. That act of intolerance helped push San Inez Valley Union High School to take on a remarkable task. Help archive the missions of California. News Channel 3 reporter Beth Farnsworth explains. In seconds, a millennia of history wiped out. They were called sandstone Buddhas. The Taliban called them forbidden idols and blew them up. Religious relics dating back to the year 507. It just spins really fast, man. In 2013, a new generation using new technology in hopes of preventing that from ever happening again. Which essentially is using lasers to determine range. Um, it uh, sends a laser beam out measures distance, and we can apply photographs to it to create a 3D model of any structure that we'd like. The technology is called LIDAR, created by an engineer outraged at what the Taliban did. Santa Inez High School came up with the $80,000 it cost and is the only school in the world to have it. That's got it, that's got it. It's going to start out pointing that way towards the mission, and uh, the little mirror spinning right now. These students from Chip Benanga's class are making a 3D model of the Santa Inez mission, every inch of it, from the exterior facade to, close the door, or do we want the door open? to the interior niches and wooden beams. The inside is going to be killer because all the windows up on top are their own little room, so we're going to have to scoot over. Scan the window, scoot over, scan the window, scoot over, scan the windows. The Santa Inez mission sign was the students' first project. It took them an hour and a half to do 10 scans, then another two hours to download that information into the computer. So just gives you a small sense of how long it will take to scan the entire mission. And then as you scroll across, you can see there's us in the back, so this part will all be cut out. And that all happens back on campus, where the scanning information is downloaded on a classroom computer. And the nice thing about this is that these ghosts are easy to take out. All of these are just points. Ryan and Alyssa explain that every single dot on the screen is a laser point, millions of them to create a 3D model you can fly through. The detail is amazing. You can read signs and see cracks in the floor. The technology even creates pictures like this one of a historic mill in Solvang. If there was a natural disaster, an earthquake, and this whole place fell down, these scans would... Uh, be used to help rebuild it again and they're accurate to under a millimeter so it would be exactly as it was and that's need to be a part of it. Santa Inez is just the start. These students will also map the Santa Barbara mission. Others will use the technology to map the rest. I'm going into engineering next year so I feel like that would be this technology would be helpful in like manufacturing or sizing parts and being able to see if those parts fit together properly. Scanners, it rotates around. Fenanga says he doesn't know who is more excited about this project, the students or him, or the rest of the world, once they see all of California's missions in 3D. In Santa Inez, Beth Farnsworth, News Channel 3. And the best part, you can tell the kids love it. All right.